Yeah, that's one of the things that, that you lose with these cars is being able to see through the back glass into uh, what's going on in front of that car. Well, we another, crash down here. another chain reaction crash. Casey Kane involved. The 11 car involved. Denny Hamlin, Casey Mears involved. Casey Kane. This is going to be a big blow wow. for him in points. Heavy contact. There's the seven. There's a split, the split bro. They're going to throw a red flag yeah, right here. Track is blocked. It's just a, that's extra fuel in the, yeah, there it goes. He started it up just to put the fire out. That's just a, excess fuel in the tailpipe that was burning. Yeah, he's just trying to get it started. Oh. Sam Hornish, uh, the front of his car. Sheared away. There's Casey King. He's trying desperately to get this car to the pits. He knows you know the implications of this and, and what it's going to do to him in points. He wants to get up there and get it fixed as quick as he can. Casey Kane had lost three spots uh, last week with that 40th place finish at Michigan. Here's Sam Hornish trying to get unbuckled. Uh, oh, there's Casey Almighty. And he had been so good at this racetrack, one of his better racetracks. After finishing second here, leading over 300 laps in this race a year ago. You know, restarts are the, probably the most dangerous time at this racetrack that all the cars have on fresh tires. Everybody's running hard and they were, they were about a second lap faster than they had been before the caution came out. I was looking for lap times. These new tires had them really glued to the racetrack and really running fast. Things just happened a lot quicker. Yeah, and I wasn't seeing a lot of give and take back through the pack. Everybody was racing extremely hard trying to hold their position or gain position, which is obviously what they're here to do. Casey was a part of the, the original uh, start of this accident. He just happened to, to be in the spot that, that collected him. Team back there knowing they've got to have everything ready. Andy, you've lived this before. What's uh, oh, what's man. it like? Yeah, it's not fun. But you, what you got to do as a crew chief is get everybody, get them, everybody a job, coordinate this thing, and, and fix what needs to be fixed. Show you what happened here, how this melee broke loose down in turns one and two. There they are coming by the start finish line. Contact, there's Mears. I think Michael Walter was involved. No seven of Clint Boyer also involved. Correct. Reed Sorensen able to get stopped there somehow. Like this started with uh, Casey Mears just maybe not clearing the 55 car as he was coming off a of turn four, and that just started a big chain reaction act, uh, accident going down into turn one. Now. Easy, back it down, back it down, back it down, back it down, stay low, clear high now. Nice work, son. And here's Clint Boyer. You see what happened here with him. This contact in front of him. Hey, come on, come on, Lionel. Right Lionel, right turn left, turn left, turn left. Andy, we had, we didn't see him that much involved, but he's going to have some damage. Yeah, he's hitting the right front, front wheel. He, he hit a lick on that right front. Right there. Yeah, that's going to. Oh man. Oh. Was able to keep it off the wall. Man, look at all these other cars. And in terms of points, the two bubble drivers, Casey Kane, who was in 12th position, and Clint Boyer in 13th, both. Hey, low, go low, go low. Come on, keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. All clear. Wow, David Ruman did a fantastic job right there in that UPS Toyota of missing that. He had his car almost completely sideways and was able to miss it. That's just when you miss that, you, you just <laughs> know that it could be your night. Might uh, be your things night. are going your way. Case, looks like you just got clipped. No, I didn't get clipped. All I heard was clear, 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 and I moved up, and somebody was still there. So I don't know, man. I, uh, I like my spotter. He's a good guy, man. But that's that's ridiculous. We just took a bunch of cars out for no reason. I was just running along. I heard clear, 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 and went up, and there was someone still there. So we just took out a bunch of cars for no reason and, and ourselves. So um, pretty upset about it. There's a lot of people that got involved with that that shouldn't have been involved at all because it shouldn't have happened. How are you, Casey? That was a big head. How, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, it's disappointing. We had a pretty good car. We were like right there about 10th or so trying to get better and just blocked in behind a few cars and uh, then some cars in front of me started wrecking. I didn't really know who it was. I saw the 5 and the 55 and uh, got hit from behind. So we just tore the car up pretty good. But 
It's the way it goes. This is a great place. Uh, a lot of fans here tonight. Just uh, a bad race. You see the disappointment all over your face, Robbie. What happened? Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, it happened uh, about six cars up in front of me. I saw the, the 5 and 55 go slide up the racetrack. It's like, uh, man, I hope these things don't stop. But um, just couldn't get it loaded up. I got, uh, Casey hit, the, hit somebody, and then I got in the back of him, and someone else got in the back of me. It just kind of a chain reaction. But um, we had a fast race car, so I'm, I'm disappointed about that, but excited. that um, The guys have been doing a really good job on the team. Uh, race cars are getting better, and I think um, Fontana next weekend is going to be a lot of fun. Definitely not where you wanted to end this race tonight. What happened out there for you? Uh, you know, the mobile one dodge, we didn't have quite a good handle on it is what we wanted. Uh, just trying to, you know, log some laps, make sure that we made it to the end. And, you know, uh, I saw the five car, you know, go around and start sliding up the track. But by then there was already somebody beside me and just got on the brakes and tried to get away from it as much as I could. But uh, I don't know, everything happens real quick here. It's, it's been a, a, a real a lot of fun for me to be able to run at Bristol the last two nights and I uh, feel like I learned a lot but we still have a lot more to learn so uh, hopefully we'll get the more one dodge run a little bit better next time we come back.